So I know last time I said that I would be doing that I've been doing graphics in this tutorial, but this time we're going but instead let's do something a bit more important. I'm going to show you how to do sprites with the built-in graphics, which I'll shall tell you about in a second. We're going to do sprites, we're going to do joysticks, and most importantly, we're going to do Boolean not Boolean logic, well logic statements basically. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is do this command called add sprite. Whoops, add sprite, right? And add sprite just tells the computer you want to add a sprite. And it, the sprite can be anywhere from um from eight tile so from one tile to some from, from eight by eight sprite to like a sixty four by sixty four sprite, I think. I think. Well, so we're gonna call the sprite S. That's what we're gonna call the sprite. This will be the name of our sprite. Make sure you want to have a space before you compile. So the next thing we're gonna do is a command called prop sprite. And this command tells a com tells more information about the sprite. This just says the size of the sprite and the name of it. But we're gonna want to um, set it up for being put on the screen. So we're gonna call it S. That's, that's the name. And the first tile in the computer is a smiley face. So we're gonna do tile one and color palette, which we'll go over that in a later tutorial. We just want to put zero. So we've set up our sprite for putting on the screen. Now let's actually put it up there. Move sprite S. And what's what comes next is really important. So hold on for a second. Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna store the location of the sprite in a variable. So let's call this SX for sprite X and SY for sprite Y on the X and Y axes. And we'll make it a location 100, 100. Plain and simple. Now, because the sprite, it's kind of complicated how, well not really, but it can be a bit confusing at first. But Sega Genesis sprite location starts at 128. So we're going to put SX plus 128, and 128 on a regular screen will be 0 in the corner, like in the corner of the screen. So SX plus 128, and SY plus 128. And this is good because if we want to move this right around, it doesn't get confusing when you're doing the programming. So we can compile. And there's our smiley face. Now what we want to do, we want to add some functionality to the smiley face, right? So let's put it in a loop. And what a loop is, it just does this over and over and over and over again forever until the system gets shut down or reset or whatever. Unless you have like a condition saying if SX is greater than 200 or let's say the screen limit is 320. 320. So let's say if it goes off screen then the program stops. Or if it attempts to go, yeah, if it goes off screen then the program stops. And if it goes off, what, um, until, not if. Hold on. Never mind that. Just put do loop. That's fine. So now what we're going to have to put is in a sleep. It's a sleep command. Now, so the Sega Genesis processor runs really fast. So if we if we add in the commands like the the um, the control commands right now, it'll be so it'll be going so fast it'll be unplayable. So sleep one slows down everything to to make sure that it runs at a reasonable speed. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to add the joypad commands, and th this will give us some control. Now, what I'm gonna show you right now is very important if and then and end if these commands give allow you to make the computer decide what you want it to do so let's say if sx is greater than 200 then well, we don't need end if for this so it's going to be one line then print 
too big. Now we could do if s x is less than 50, then we can make it print too small. Now because it's looping, it's going to do this a, t a bunch of times. So we'll get ready to have the screen filled up. So if sx is 200, then it'll say too big. And if sx is less than 50, then it'll say too small. But when we run it right now, it's not going to do any of that because we don't have any way to, to move this this um the sprite we don't have any way to move the sprite and it's, so nothing's gonna happen so what we have to do now is we have to make a way to actually move this guy around so what we're gonna do is we're going to say if joypad which this is the um, the controller for the joypad so this is really important if you want to be able to have controls in your game if joypad.7 which is the start button on the Sega Genesis controller then so like that means if it was pressed down then sx plus plus or sx equals sx plus one plus plus is like the C equivalent of, of this which also works in basic but doesn't work in a lot of other languages so let's compile it so oh yeah yeah so I have to press start so I'm pressing start and it's moving and now it says too big but if we add another control Let's say oh, which I think that's up. And we're gonna change this to minus so it goes back instead of forward. Too small, too big. So that is how you do basic sprites, basic sprites, and this is kind of like collision detection, but not really. This is and logic, basic logic. I'll go a bit more in depth into this. I just wanted to introduce you to some things that we're going to be going over in depth later. But this is how you make a basic, this is the structure of basic games. You set up things in the beginning of the game. You have a loop. You have the main game loop and the functions inside. So this updates the sprites. This slows down the processor to make it playable. Checks the controls and checks the logic.